31 years ago. It was an old store building. There was a lovely lady, Jean Thompson, who was our speech therapist and a doctor that realised there was a gap in our community, there was something missing for the elderly. Through a lot of hard work and determination, they had funding to open us up. We bring 16 people in per day, five days a week, and it's just a real happy place to be. We see, we see the person and know the illness and there's no any illness stops you coming to Harley Hill. From the minute the bus goes out that's the start of the welcome because the bus is a great atmosphere and especially on a Monday you can tell that people over the weekend have been very isolated and then when they come in they have their breakfast or socialise and a blather. And then we set up for lunches then if we've got entertainment in that in the afternoon we'll participate in that again. Our entertainment today is Robbie, who's a singer who has been coming to the centre for years to entertain our members. A lot of the members ask for Robbie when it's like their birthday. He's a really good singer, he tells jokes and makes your members really relaxed. We do a lot of craft activities and it's about what you, a lot of members that come here choose to just want to sit and relax and blather and maybe get a hand massage to other members who want to be fully stimulated and be on the go and active all the time and we're big on the exercises being geared around what they're capable of doing so it's very person-centered to what the person wants we do end of life care so you can be here from the beginning of your illness and as it deteriorates you still come to Harley Hill, we find a way of being able to support you. I nominate them because I think the, the work that they do certainly go above and beyond. Uh, I've just never known anything like that for a, you know, a career that's probably definitely undervalued and definitely underpaid. The, the dedication and that that they show is just incredible and it's just great to be a part of that. The members will be so delighted because they, they too Every time you leave, they're always they're always thankful for for being here. Um, so, whilst that's probably the only recognition we need, as I say, it's very nice to get public recognition uh, for the work that we do. The centre does a lot of work, and because of that, I think they deserve to be nominated. I think you deserve it. I love you.